Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 10 of Land of the Golden Lilies here in Europa Universalis 4 where last time we freed Naples from Castile and at the end of last episode we declared war on England so we're once again starting off the episode in a war. Um, I did, re I, I, at the end of last episode I said I'm not going to call in my allies because I would have brought in a Ghostlar but um, whenever that happens, whenever you have an ally who won't join your enemy in a war but if you have one of your allies join and they will join, just declare the war without calling your allies in. That will automatically break the alliance when um, your enemy's ally declines the call to arms. Then you can just call your allies in after the fact. Um, I'm not going to call in Scotland because they won't really add much um, anyway. And um, I don't plan it well. I mean, I would give them this, but they, they're going to want more than that. So, um, But we'll call on Morocco because why not? Uh, but let's see, what is... Actually, they only have man and argyle as, as a vital interest. Um, yeah, let me mark everything else as vital interest. I think my subjects have stuff as vital interest. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, they don't have anything as vital interest, so, like, they should... Hand everything over to me. I'm gonna mark everything my vassals don't have. Um... Vital interest, uh, and then I'll call Scotland in. Why not? Okay. I don't think there'll be that much help, but I kind of want to give them Aragil back. Back. Wait, well, yeah, I mean they had it at one point. They don't have a core in it anymore for some reason. Let's start going just here and get you on the cork. I'll make sure I have all of my subjects set to a siege focus. Okay, got some English in Scotland. I need to go handle them. I got enough prestige, I'll lose a bit. Are they running to the Hebrides? They're running to Orkney. Are you sure you want to do that? Because that's a fort. So, like. There's more English armies down here. I just need to kill this English army. Because they can't blockade me. Because we control both sides of it there, bud. Wait, so this guy has five maneuver. So yeah, there'll be no crossing penalty. Still got the Peasants' War. You're welcome, Castile. Have fun with that. Alright, now let's not let these English armies break contain now that we got this one fleeing. Actually, they're fleeing into Ireland, which isn't great for me. Um, I, I gotta wonder if I could blockade this straight. Let's go poke it. I can blockade that straight. Okay. <laughs> At least for now I can. I don't know if England's going to come try something, but... My traitor is dead. Definitely want another traitor if I could get one, but I don't, so I'm taking proof relations, I guess. Um... Okay, 
Okay, the Ottomans are going back to war with Poland, which I don't love because I kind of wanted... I mean, I get a PU on Poland, so... I was kind of hoping to uh, have them not be super weak, but... That might be where we're at. Is this the Siege Man? I don't think it is. Actually, it is. That's our siege guy, but I'll siege with anyone. I mean, I don't really care. Let's go sit on London. Milan is papal controller. Does that basically mean I'm papal controller? <laughs> well, I mean, you would think, but no, it doesn't. Even though I, I control Milan, you would think if I control the people controller, but nope. Doesn't work like that. The Diplotech. Uh, look at Scotland, they're attacking a stack 1k bigger than theirs, but it was on a hill for it, so. Yep, they're gonna win that. I maybe could have come came in and uh, made it a stack wipe, but that's yeah, fine. Need to get these forts occupied. There's a lot of Irish forts that we're gonna have to grab. chase them and do the same thing we did last time and just trap them in Cornwall <laughs> I know we're just gonna fight them in Devon that's fine it's grasslands oh got a stab nice and that was a stack wipe love to see it Once again, I'm not sure why England's navy is, isn't engaging. Portugal got no access. I'm not sure why England's navy isn't engaging me because you would think they would. Um. Uh oh. Great. <sighs> Do I try to actually fight that? Okay, no, they gave up. Cool. So like England's whole army is over here. Um, so you're gonna leave on the fourth. I think they're on the sixth, so I'm gonna grab this little stack. A couple 1k stacks, nice, nice. And then go sit on the siege. Status quo. So be it. Alright, I think once we get everything over here occupied and hopefully kill these stacks, we will... I need to ferry guys over is the thing. Like, I need to get... I need to get another army in Ireland because they have way too many men there. Um, 26,000. Not great. And I can take my first admin idea. It doesn't help all that much. It's, uh... Merc, merc cost. The core creation cost is where we start getting juicy. Okay, give me these two armies, and let me see if I can pull off a getting them out of here kind of thing. Um, Scotland should go handle those guys up there, I hope. Oh no, I think I'll send these guys... They can't get here, so we're just going to have to put the squeeze on them, you know? But no, I think being here would be good, because 
That way, even if I unblockade the straight, they still have to go through me to get back. And there's London. Now, let's go ahead and figure out, I, I mean, what I want from them. So they have cores on Cumbria, um, York. Sheffield, Hull, and Scarborough. Sheffield, Hull, and Scarborough. And then we just want to get as much as we can over to Munster in Ireland. And I believe that's all of Wales cores, right? Okay, so this is what we want. I mean, can I get like all of Ireland, I wonder? No, definitely not. But I'm handing it all over to Vassal, so I just want to take as much as I can. I'm not going to give that back to Scotland in this war because I have too many other things I need to do. But we definitely need to get an army down in the mainland back because um, this ain't working right now. <laughs> like Portugal got through, which is no good, and they're occupying me like crazy. And there's so many forts in Ireland. It's insane. Like, is this even gonna get killed if I try this? I think they might, honestly. No, they didn't get killed that time. Okay, I think we're good. Yeah, you got Grand Bakes Fisheries. That's nice, England. It's really cool. I'm so, I'm so happy for you, honestly. Let's go handle Greaseland real quick. And this English army is standing on woods. I think I gotta just kill them. I'm never gonna have a defensive advantage, you know, so I think I just gotta go for it. Okay. Give me. There we go. Give me. There we go. Thank you. So I'm gonna try to pull a little a little sneaky. I'm gonna try to do the unblockade so they flee across the strait kind of thing. Um it's in a you first because you're better. And then see if they go to flee across the strait. And if they do. Then blockade it back. No, they fled. Okay, one province over, but it's a fort province, and we can't... Actually, no, siege... Well, actually, no, you're kind of hurt, but you know what's good. Siege guy? Put on the siege. Okay, you know what? No, I gotta handle Portugal. Portugal is getting on my nerves, and they need to go. Do you want out Friesland, perchance? No? Okay. Northumberland. Nope, not Northumberland, sorry. Munster. Oh, what's, what's the matter? You don't want to fight anymore? What happened? What happened to your gumption? Huh? I'll fight you on woods. I don't care. You're Portugal. Your troops are going to be made of paper compared to mine. Yeah, get rolled. Go build a colony or something, nerd. Leave the military stuff to the big guys, huh? 
I'm gonna tell Milan to be aggressive. I would love if they would go kill those stacks up there. Okay, well, time for you to go, buddy. You had a good run, you know. Or exhaustion's getting high, but this should be over soon. Monster into monster. Is it any cheaper to have them return cores instead of so this is 75? What if I go here and tell them return cores at 71? It is actually slightly cheaper. So it's 71. And I go here and I tell them return cores. Okay, that's slightly more expensive. I don't know. Um, where are all the forts here? It's one in Quark, so we definitely want that. Kildare, Ulster, Sligo. Um, I guess I'll take Sligo because it's one more fort that we won't have to worry about. Um, okay. We need to get more troops over to the mainland because England has no armies now, so. And they can't build any. But if we want to wrap up this war properly and get my 100%, which is going to be me taking no land myself, um, we need to do this. I will take that defensive idea. Land maintenance modifier. That'll help a bit with the money. Hopefully. Uh oh. Okay. Um, we won. <laughs> I didn't actually want to get in any naval fights. Please don't do that again. Portugal. I thought you were all big and strong. Seriously, where are you running? Oh, there you go. Hills? I don't care. Okay. They got away. Oh, there we go. Siege ability? Yes, please. Where did these guys come from? We don't really have to do anything else until our truce with Naples is up, and that's nine years still, so. Okay, I'm gonna start occupying you now, Portugal, because you've annoyed me greatly. Oh, I'm gonna wipe that army first. Wait, no, okay, now I'm gonna go back up here with this army, and these guys are gonna go occupy Portugal. Do you really not want out yet? <laughs> okay, I mean, it's your decision, I guess. Nice. Caught those guys. Now I think England will actually have no armies present. I think. Okay, no, they got 5k again somewhere. Where? 
Are you building them in Newfoundland and ferrying them all the way over? Are you that desperate? I think they are. I think that's literally what they're doing. It's crazy. Um, let me get the land maintenance modifier and the recovery speed. It's pretty good. Oh, Morocco finally showed up. Yeah, there we go. Allied to Ethiopia. Interesting. You pay that loan. And you get a reward. Do you want out East Tracy? Actually, no, we're 99%. They should just take this. Um, this isn't a Northumberland core, is it? No. Alright, so that should be our peace deal. Just about done. Very good war against England. All of our vassals cores back and some more cores back. Alright, and some stuff to Munster. So we should be able to finish off Ireland in the next war. Um, we can start annexing those two vassals. I don't know if I want to at the moment because uh, my gov cap is pretty... Well, pretty bad. It's not doing great. <laughs> um... Let's get you guys here, and we'll start ferrying them back. Next war will be with, um, Naples. We're going to save up to fight Naples. And with that in mind, I'm going to start proving with neighbors, because they might get a bit out of hand. We also need to start building state houses wherever we can. Um, so any province over 10 dev is where you want to build a state house. Um... So, I know our moor is really high dev, so let's get one there. Um, or courthouse, sorry. And... let's see, I think this is more. Yeah, this is 10 dev. So we're gonna start building courthouses with all of our money. And, of course, we're gonna have an army's drill. Love building up that passive... Military tradition. Great. Uh, but yeah, it's been going really well, I'd say. A little hiccup there with Castile and then PUing Naples before I could. Wasn't great, but I think we're, we've recovered from that well. We beat up Castile pretty easily. Um, gotta hope no one goes in and like joins anything from Naples. At the moment, that seems unlikely. They're allied to Venice. They have a pretty strong army themselves. Not strong enough, like not too strong for me, <laughs> but decently strong. Can I do a bit of seize land? I most certainly can. Alright. Uh, also, if our force limit went up at all, it is not. <laughs> it's not great. I would have preferred my force limit to have gone up some by this point, but it is not. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure Ottomans are number one great power because the Ottomans are going. Actually, they're not. Well, because of the institution. French peasants in Andrew. I mean, okay. Now that reminds me. Let me lower autonomy anywhere I can. I can't lower autonomy anywhere. Yeah, I've not been expanding much myself. Um, just been cutting England into pieces with my vassals. Which is always fun. Oh, wait. Also, let me get my diplomats all on. All in neighboring countries, so we can try to preempt the coalition that might come about of me trying to PU Naples. Um, oh, I didn't take this. <laughs> well, I didn't take anything. I'm gonna save it still because I didn't take anything that I actually um, had claims on. Let me go over to development and to see what is our most high dev provinces. Paris, obviously, Bordeaux. So Bordeaux could definitely use a state house.
End of the Peasant's War for Castile. Wow. <laughs> Castile is not doing too hot, huh? Um, wow, Aragon has 100% liberty desire. We'll be able to get there before that, because, um, you know, it's the current patch. They're not going to declare independence. Um, so we'll be able to get there in time, but... Oof. So we, we can either lose 15 nobility or 15 clergy. Do either of you have anything easy? Nope. Okay, well they're just gonna, one of them's gonna drop below. Um, the more is iron. I'm gonna build, build a uh, manufactory there, or a workshop. Wait, I guess I should go with, wait, what am I talking about? I can't do math. 48 minus 15 is 33. Done. That wasn't necessary. But money's looking pretty good. Um, I'll get a manufactory there as soon as I can to get that mission done. And Naples will be next. I'll take the Cardinal Administration, sure. Need to improve some with the Pope, actually. Hold on. Uh, he kind of doesn't like me enough at the moment. I have said I won't join his offensive wars, right? I will not join your offensive wars. <laughs> if you want to fight Naples or something, you're on your own with that. I'm not helping you with that. Lunaburg. Well, that's a really good opportunity for a personal union right there. If I could grab Lunaburg. Ooh. Juicy. Yeah, I, def I think once I PU Castile, you know, and Aragon, and Naples, I think then I might jump ahead of the Ottomans. I don't know. We're going to take land from Portugal, too, of course. And I was hoping these guys would get integrating on Navarra, because I don't want Navarra as a PU, but they haven't done it yet, so... Let's see, we'll take a new idea, Diplo idea... Uh, I'll take that now. This will give me some national tax modifier, which is good. Probably take um, each of the next idea groups, and then we'll start focusing on teching up. That core creation cost, well, it's not going to be big soon, because I'm <laughs> I'm not taking any land, and I don't have any plans to take land. Well, I mean, I might... The one thing I might do is when I fight Castile and PU them, I might just annex Navarra, because I don't want Navarra as a PU. Um, that would be just no no good. <laughs> Uh, but I, what I would do is I would annex, I would take those provinces and just give them right back to Castile. So, that might be something I do. And Naples is now six years. Six years we have to wait until we can get to war with Naples. Let's just take a brief look at our mission tree and see where it goes from there. The Spanish succession is the end of a path. Of course, there's the whole colonial path, which, like, um, I don't know how much of that I'll be doing. I'm mostly focusing on Europe and, you know, some of the achievements you have that, uh, that have to do with conquering a lot of land in Europe. Um, what does this give me? Manpower recovery speed up. Interesting. Hmm. Maybe prestige. Okay, so we definitely want to go like high absolutism as much as we can. Um, these are all interesting ones. If we want to get all of the <laughs> achievements that we can, we need to flip revolutionary. Um, <laughs> which is. That's going to be interesting. I've done it recently. It's not very good. I wouldn't recommend flipping revolutionary in any case. Um, you know, it's interesting. Tree here is an elector. Is Austria? Austria is allied to Saxony. It's the only elector they're allied to. Hmm. Because we need to dismantle the HRE. 
Or we could go over Diplo Division to do that, right? We could break alliance with Morocco. We could probably break alliance with Scotland, too, as well. Uh, it's probably not necessary anymore. I think dismantling the HRA is going to be something I do after I get the PE1 Castile. But yeah, that's the plans for the future. Game's been going pretty well. Ottomans are mega scary. But hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. Bye.